Hello, beautiful souls. Hello, goat gang, Capricorns, men, women, ladies, and gents. How you doing? How you doing, guys? I'm super excited for what we have that's, like, coming out for a start here. Okay, um, so much is going on. Um, I do want to do, okay, my title over here is Let's Do a Love Reading. And who's got their eyes on you? And will there be contact? Okay, so that is what we are doing. And the first two cards that popped out here was the Page of Cups and a Knight of Wands. Now, I still think that, okay, someone does want to start off as a friend and come in small. And maybe they're right now in player mode. Now we're going to just have to get in to see if they are going to, you know, if this is just like a temporary thing. Because I don't feel like it's... I'd normally scream that's a player card and I'm not screaming that right now. Um, I do believe though that this person might have some decisions to make about their life. Um, and Capricorn, I believe that this side message over here with these two cards with me splitting the deck that we're going to use, I think that it's telling me that with the High Priestess, you are supposed to trust your intuition when it comes to making decisions about love. So, um... And then over here, we do have some stuff going on in the guide oracles and in my, what is it, Pluto oracle deck, okay. So your shadow puppets today are the porcupine, I think it, they're beautiful cards, and the hermit crab, and then we have forgiveness um, to start this off. And now what do we have over here? Now I got a deck that I have not played with because I just, I just didn't play with it because I didn't really understand it. And I got it out today and I'm pumped to play with it. Um, it is called the, where the heck is the book? Please tell me I didn't set it somewhere and forget it. Um, okay. It is the Oracle of the universe. Okay. That is what this deck is called. And I think that the best part about the deck I pulled out that I just never gave the time of day to really, um, I don't know why because like look how pretty and just look how pretty the freaking goat card is and I think that for a while there I didn't understand things like how the astro deck is about north node south node you know um you know 12th house fourth house um and all the horoscope stuff like that that was coming on that and then now I don't know this this deck's just amazing it is so beautiful I mean we can take a peek at a few cards here but we, you know, we'll get into it and then I will read you an interpretation and we'll start off with like one card so that it's not too much because I don't even know how big the message is, but that book looks big. <laughs> so I just kind of labeled that card for us just to give you an example of what this deck looks like. What do we have back here? See, that's from the other day. So we will have to mix, but these two and these two, okay? These are the cards that I still have pulled for this reading. Um, so, I want to say this much. Again, it's almost the same energy, just in a different way, okay? We're going to shuffle those, and we're not going to go any farther with that. But <clears throat> we have another page here. Like, do you see what I mean? How someone seems like they want to start off small when it comes to maybe a new love offer. And it could be a um, a fire sign, uh, Sag Leo Aries. Let me take a deep breath because retrograde is not getting me today. <laughs> we still have like the number 14 coming out. And if you've watched the last four readings, we've got 444 or 144 or 1144 or 1441 or it just is always something. So we do have Chameleon Spirit act as if and I will read you that interpretation when we are done as well. So, and then at the bottom of the, the mini deck over there, it, dude, look at this. I believe, okay, someone, like I said, I feel like they just don't want to be a player. Like they want to offer you a real cup of love. And I don't think that they want to play games. I don't think that they're immature anymore or that they are immature or however it resonates. I think that they're going to come out of this I don't know if your person of um okay the person of love interest okay that either has an interest in you or that you have an interest in um hmm all I know is they're gonna like 
again, it's like I want to start off being your loving, stable friend. And I want to maybe just start off as having a little bit of fun. Maybe, okay, I'm going to throw it out there, okay? Maybe like making out and just going on a few dates, just having some fun. And then seeing where it goes. And then I think this person is really going to dive deep. They're going to come in with an ace of pentacles and probably ask you Capricorn's like something long term like do you want to be with me be my girlfriend boyfriend however that resonates you know let's make something work long term because this is this is a, a major arcana and a very big new beginning this is like offering you a gift or a date or just a small friendship you know a stable friendship someone that would be there for you okay someone that like takes you out treats you to go and get lunch and stuff like that okay someone that's just you know a good friend that they want to start off with and they're very loving you know with some more with uh water energy over there um but yeah i believe that they don't just want like the ten of pentacles with you they want such long term i think that they like want to offer something and they want a large new beginning and stability with you it's kind of like when a fire sign steps into an emperor um energy like they become so responsible that they step into I'm going to like make sure we're financially abundant and always okay when it comes to bills and we're not going to worry. It's going from small to huge though, like in all ways. All right, let's get started on shuffling. And remember Capricorns, please trust your intuition, weigh out your options, make sure that this person really has changed. Um, I don't, I don't, want to say that I don't believe that this person needs change I think they're just coming in maybe maybe you're going to think that they're a player okay I'm not going to lie Knight of Wands is player card energy but I think I think they're just maybe very attractive and they may catch your eye Capricorns <laughs> they may really catch your eye <laughs> you may feel like one hell of a connection here all right, so let's dive into it. Let's do it. Tarot time. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at what I hung up. Look, you guys probably can't see it because I have black lights on. I have this other light on, but it is a giant sun card tapestry. Here, let me see if I can turn the light off if that helps or if I can zoom out and zoom in. See, it's not helping us now because I have black lights on everywhere. So, all right, going back to the cam. But if you can see up there is the beautiful sun and then down on the side of these flowers and then it says the sun I got cute and then I hung up those you know what are they guys pink and purple I'm such a mermaid I am such a mermaid okay enough about me let's get into Capricorns here mm -hmm. <laughs> all right I'm gonna prop the phone up first of all we're going to light spirit here. We need some answers and guidance, please. Thank you. Okay. Can I see this? Okay. I mean, it's decent, I guess. No, I don't like it. Mm. Even worse. <sighs> I guess that's how it'll have to be for right now. But I'm going to move these two cards because they're from two different decks. And we're going to use the deck that we have. I am still going to stick this energy over here so that you Capricorns know that you need to trust your intuition on this situation all right let's shuffle i haven't played with this deck for like ever so i mean i did i think but the other day but just started playing with it again after a long, really long time so too many cards it's not like a million cards look at what is at the bottom of the deck double clarification here or what Gonna toss that over there and split in the deck. We've got the two of wands planning, huh? 
some plans for a new beginning. All right, I'm gonna shuffle again, and then we're gonna get jumpers over here, huh? Answers and guidance, please. Who has their eye on Capricorns? Who has their eyes on Capricorns? And will there be contact? We have a King of Swords coming out. Um, I'd say somebody that is the same age or older maybe than you. Because it's like a King of Swords. But um, yeah, somebody who's very serious. Very serious about their decisions. About what they're going to do. Um, now this could be a completely different person, okay? Someone's coming into your life as a friend, and then someone wants to seriously just jump right into your life. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, that might be, like, somewhat of, like, the unknown, um, Capricorns, I think you're going to misinterpret this because you're going to be so caught off guard. So the moon card is absolutely right now kind of clarifying this uh, this Gemini Libra Aquarius offer. Um, 1111, I don't know if this person may have manifested you or has been thinking about you enough to have manifested a, a connection with you. But I do believe this person wants to talk. And so there is going to be contact. They are going to speak what's on their mind Gemini Libra Aquarius is air signs. They always speak what's on their mind. They say it like it is, and they'll say it as cold as ice if they have to. Um, I think it's just going to catch you so off guard, Capricorns, that you're going to be like, you're going to misinterpret this like, wait, wait, what? What What are you doing? <laughs> like, what do you want? Huh? And, and it's like, it's like, I don't know. Okay, maybe even though they're going to, like, just hop out of nowhere and jump in fast, I do believe they have an offer, too. It's both of these people. Hmm, this is wild. Are you ready for this? I am done. We're going to put the offer in the middle because I'm going to just do it. Spirit's like, let's do this. Let, let, let's get this together and get this right. Woo, what a catch. Uh, and that two of wands is definitely... Like, okay, who's making the decision to to plan on communicating with you, Capricorns? And there's two different people, two different paths coming your way, two beginnings. Uh, it is so crazy. Okay, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> there is a fire sign coming in with a stable major arcana, huge new beginning, and... I felt, okay, that this person is going to start off small. They want to start off as a friendship and end up, like, big. So, maybe this person might be a little bit slower and may win the race. I'm not sure, Capricorns here. This is very odd energy. And then this person has the same exact energy, only they're coming in so quick without, like, just, just, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. I mean, to be honest, this card did kind of come out first. They may want to, like, come in with, like, a, I don't know, a small ante. I, I just don't know. It's so weird. Um, Yeah, Capricorns, you're going to be, like, so caught off guard. It's going to be, like, a misinterpretation because they're going to just, I don't know, show up or message you. Or... They're going to say what's on their mind. And the moon energy is the unknown. It's things they've been thinking about that they've wanted to say to you throughout communication, but just didn't know how to come forward. So I think that's why they're coming in like maybe a tad bit reckless. But at the same time, even though they're coming in, what I feel like is like super, super fast. Um, there's still somewhat of a balance though with the offers that they're coming in with and they are both stable offers. And then this person's coming in with both stable offers. Um, it's almost like clarification. There's a cup of love being offered to you, Capricorns, in a friendship way. Maybe that's how it's going to come off from both ends here for you. That's m maybe your interpretation of everything. And then they're going to plan to have communication. But the question is, who is going to plan? Who's coming in first here? Okay, I just need to know. I need to know... 
I definitely need answers and guidance right now. Okay, please tell me. <laughs> There's the Six of Swords. So all I have to say is there is movement. And it is not like movement away. It's movement like progress. Okay, I think like movement toward you, Capricorns. But again, we're not really getting answers. <laughs> someone's planning on movement and and taking action and communication here oh wow all right yeah what do we have here Ooh. i just have to say that even though this is deceit okay and lies and manipulation um to me, it's still a very sneaky spy card. Like, someone's keeping tabs on you. They want to see everything that you're doing. But at the same time, I keep getting led back to a misinterpretation. And maybe the way that someone's watching you, Capricorns, maybe you're taking it in a very negative way. Like, they're being deceitful by even how, like, how dare they look up my shit or my social media or or watch my social media and see how I'm doing or check on me or... Maybe you think it's, like, deceptive or that they have bad intentions or ill intentions. I don't know who you think has that because, again, we don't have complete answers going on here. But at the same time, holy shit, let's take a look here. This is all mental. So make sure that someone's not going to play head games with you and that you actually trust that intuition, Capricorn, is what I'm going to say. I just think someone you're misinterpreting something as deceit and it could be both of them or it just could be I'm kind of leaning towards this king of swords because they have the moon card they have the unknown the misinterpretation that of them like just jumping in really quick with an offer that is super shocking almost like a tower moment you're gonna think it's a trick you're gonna think it's deceitful and weird and odd and you're just really going to have to weigh out your options with this person, I think. You're really going to have to think about it, like, mentally. But I think they're spying on you, and they're just keeping tabs because that's the other card that fell out. They're, they're manifesting you. Or they have all of the skills for manifestation. Maybe they're very spiritual. I have no idea. Or they could just be in that type of an energy. At the same time, boy, am I getting an energy that says just stick it in the middle because two people have been manifesting you, Cap. Boy, oh boy, talk about a love reading. Okay, talk about a love reading. And then, both of these people and offers, okay, whether that is a potential air sign, potential fire sign, or even, again, a potential... I'm going to say it. There is two pages of pentacles. There's two possible earth signs that could be coming in here, too. But I feel like it's the offers, so I don't really feel that that being an offer energy. Someone say it like it is. But again, both of these people are coming in with balance, kindness. They want to be generous. They want to be there for you. They're both coming in with a page and an ace of pentacles. <laughs> Crazy. Mm. Oh. Are you ready for this? Do you see what was happening here? Capricorns, you're a very independent independent uh, uh horoscope person probably um we kind of like it our way or or no way at all we're, we're the goat we have very high standards we're the most misunderstood horoscope on the planet and i think that you've kind of been in this very independent i speak my truth and live by it no matter what happens and it doesn't matter if you pick any of these people to be honest like I don't know how to explain the energy coming off this Queen of Swords besides everyone knows that you have been single and independent for a while. Male or female. Whoever's coming in, whether it be a qu the Queen of Swords is coming in um, for you or a king. You know, whether it be the Princess or the Knight of Wands. Either way, fire and air signs are coming in. And Capricorn, this is the energy that you're in, which is very strong air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. <clears throat> I think you have a clear sense, though, of what you want to do with your life. Right here, we have the Tower card. All of this is going to be a very shocking thing. I think when this all comes together, 
if this is somebody, okay, one of these people right now I'm getting that is your wish fulfillment because there's, there's that nine of cups. So which one of these guys, Capricorns, have you been wishing for or have they been wishing for you? Honest to God, I think, okay, okay, honest to God, I'm done. Okay, they've been manifesting you. You're their wish fulfillment. You're a few people's freaking dream damn come true. They love you more than than the cups they got in their damn kitchen. <laughs> this is so crazy. And then I am, what is this? The high priestess at the end of this? What is that? Please tell me that's not what it is. It is the two of cups at the end of that damn deck. What is that? Okay, look, all I saw was an offer of a flower and how someone may want to buy you flowers and it made me pull that card. There is someone who has an intuition here that they are coming in and taking action with their intuition. Their intuition knows that you are their wish fulfillment. They coming in. And I think that somebody here or both people think you're their soulmate. Two of cups. Like, how could I have been drawn to that energy? Are you shitting me? Capricorns, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be like jaw dropped. Okay. How did this happen? And what is going the frick on? Okay. They're all, I mean, you're in your high priestess energy and like they're in theirs. They know they're trusting their intuition. Whoever it is, they know what they want. It really could be both people, guys. <laughs> I just, just don't know. I just don't even know. I gotta pull it. It's a queen of cups. I know it. What is behind it? The hermit. Okay, I'm not, it's a no card. Okay, they're just, that, thank goodness. Okay, I did not pass it up and I trusted my high priestess intuition <laughs> because this was screaming, pick me, pick me up, take me. Capricorns, you are not just in this independent energy. You're in a healing energy. No wonder people are like super attracted to you right now. No wonder they have these huge offers. They know your worth. They know that your nurturing energy and loving energy is ear fucking replaceable. I think they know you're a very, how do I want to say it? Empress motherly loving person. When we come out sometimes with our Queen of Pentacles card, it does say that we are support. Like, I think that's what the word is on one of the cards. Caring could be one too. Um, even though we're a very stubborn horoscope, there is a lot going on in your energy. And you are in some Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups energy, Capricorns, male or female. Male or female. You either... You, I think you resemble love so much that people just like I say all the time can't holy shit she got a guitar it's like they cannot resist the siren song are you kidding me like she's playing music she's a mermaid she's this is insane let's get some more jumpers please and thank you to okay I need to clarify First, let me just show. This is two people's energies towards you at once. Choosing you as their path. Movement forward, six of swords. And they have been maybe manifesting you. They want to be kind and supportive and take care of you stability financially wise. They don't want you to worry, I think, about fear of poverty. Both people here do not want you to worry about fear of poverty, but this person has been having a secret for quite some time. <laughs> this person has been thinking about this for a very long time. Maybe that's why they are in the King of Swords because they've probably been thinking of it since they were the Knight of Swords. Okay, I'm not playing no games. The way the Moon Guard is here it just feels like they have been procrastinating a very long time. I think they needed introspection because they're the King of Swords. They're very in their head. They're very logical. They have to think, but then when they act, holy shit, they gonna get what they want. <clears throat> we also have, though, this person, and I, I just, this is, I think, someone who just came maybe into your life or you just became friends with, if that resonates or is about to be the newer person, the person that just fell for you, that just got attracted to you, that, but at the same time, maybe it's finally communication with this person now 
But all I have to say, see, I, mm-mm-mm. One of them is manifesting you. One of them thinks you're their nine of cups. One of them is going to trust their intuition and they know. One of them knows you're their soulmate. This is absolutely a mind blower. Um, I still need more clarification because it's just not giving me enough answers on who's going to really take action here first. Okay. Look what's at the bottom of the damn deck. Double clarification, Capricorn, that you are very loving and attractive. And what's coming out next is a past energy coming in. I told you, someone's been thinking of this a long time. So one of these people, which I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards that King of Swords, because they're in a King of Swords. They, they've been thinking of it as well. They have the Moon card. Um, <clears throat> splitting the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Um, yeah, it's a no card. It's a no. There's no energy. What the fuck? The world card, someone has came to a completion. And the only person that would have came to a completion here is either you, Capricorn. Say you've had growth. You've become the super healing per healed person. And someone sees maybe the completion that you've had. The change. The positive change that you've had. And now you're just so attractive. And they, they can see your worth. People have been manifesting you, like I said. This is so insane. I thought it for a sec it was like their completion, but it is not. It is yours because you're in this healing energy twice. What do we have at the top? Damn. We have somebody who is so sexy. <laughs> Male or female, king or queen of wands we have going on here. I believe that this is going with your knight of wands and they're going to step up their game eventually. It's like, okay, I never thought that they were really in player mode. I just thought that it was odd that they didn't come out as a king, but had such small and huge and a huge offer for you. So let's talk about this, okay? They're going to grow the frick up because they're immaturity, okay? Their card represents immaturity, making reckless young dumb decisions i'm not playing but they're you know that's not what i got at all from this person which is a good energy i got they want to be your friend like i said and just have you know a few dates make out see how it goes is there a spark is there not a spark and if there is they want a huge offer with you you know and they've grown up it's like i went from being a knight to offering very very small um i'm gonna say it breadcrumbing offers and then they're going to step into a very powerful financial abundant energy. I don't know how. And they want a huge stable beginning with you. And they've grown up and their passion is intensely attracted to you. This is crazy. I am having so much trouble. Guys, on my last reading, okay, disappointing. I was going to delete the video, but a few people did like it, so I didn't delete it, but I said things so wrong on it. Retrograde has me tripping all day long on my words. I watched that video, and I said so many things wrong that I just wanted to delete it, but then I was like, screw it. I'm not going to have an ego or even give a shit, you know, because I just can't. We have the cherry card, and this is super funny because there's two tigers on it. Two. Two of them. I think there's progress with no matter who is here. They're both charging in for you. <laughs> like, this is one and the other. This is both the kings, my loves. They're coming. They are coming. <laughs> um, Hierophant card at the top of the deck. We've got guidance here, so... Oh, I do get messages from the guides right now, and they're telling me, how about we switch it over? So, right here, I think you have the wisdom and guidance to know who is your best, who should be your best one. I mean, make the best decision. And if none of them are, you have the wisdom and guidance to be your independent queen of, um, queen of swords self. You, you know how to give yourself healing and self-love because you are in a queen of cups two times. So, Yeah. I also believe that if you have that misinterpretation that someone's coming back in, in a deceitful energy, that you're going to use your wisdom and guidance to maybe see if they really are in that way or not. Um, 
I want to clarify with a different deck. I've, I've had it. I've totally had it with that deck. I'm supposed to move over to the guides, but we will as soon as I get a few jumpers here. Yeah? The Hermit card again. You gotta be shitting me. It was That's what was at the bottom the whole time. So there's Virgo energy. Capricorns, I think that... Hmm... No matter what, again, it's both of their energies because no one has made a move or contact yet. They've been planning on it. Planning on the offers and the movement. The Hermit card is everyone here in this situation has been trying to trust their intuition. We have the High Priestess so many freaking times. I mean... And then there's double clarification. Planning the Two of Wands again. In hermit mode, trying to figure out what to do here. Yins are never going to believe what's at this freaking deck. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go until the, it stops. And it's st I'm going to stop it when it says to stop. Dang, that's a lot of people. Bruh, we may be here for a while. I'm not going to get into it like that. I'm going to go quick. You ready? These people are going to fight for you. Again, there's two people on the card, even though it's the five of wands, but there is about to be some conflict going down. There needs to be a balance in this situation here in Capricorn. I think you're just going to worry about your own healing and your energy and you're not going to let it go bonkers. You are in temperance mode. You are balanced out. You're in the queen of cups twice. I can't even say it more than that. You have empathy. You have healing. You have nurturing. You're just amazing. Maybe with this six of cups energy being with this, I believe that you've learned from past lovers how to heal and love and fix yourself no matter what happens. You're detached as fuck, I think, sometimes. But so loving, too. So, yes, you get hurt, but you can heal yourself very quickly, Capricorns, from everything you've learned in the past. Plus that uh, that Hierophant card's here. This, that's really amazing energy. So I'm going to put that Temperance card there. I think you've learned from your past how to, things that you've learned... From past love experiences, whether that be from childhood, past relationships. However it resonates for you, it's made you have this healing balance, this growth from trauma, from things that were not... I feel like they weren't for your highest good. I'm going to say it like it is. All right, sorry, you ready? Again, double clarification. There is someone who wants to come with a love offer. It's the second page of cups. It's like double clarification. Again. They both want the same thing. Exactly the same thing. There's the world card. Completion. Again. <laughs> Again. We're going to put it with the completion. Because two times you got the queen of cups. Two times you got the world card. Completion. Alright. What is this? Damn. There's the six of freaking wands. So, again, somebody sees this as very successful. We have progress over already here with the chariot card. So, someone sees this as, like, such a super successful um, energy and relationship, however that resonates. And, um, what do we have here? Six of Pentacles, again, another double clarification that there's going to be balance. Both of these people, I can just separate these cards, and they both all have the exact same cards. It's so wild right now. All right, we did not get this yet, though, I don't think. How many's here? Nine of Pentacles, Capricorns. I believe this is, like, how you're in the Queen of Swords energy right now, but at the same time, you're in your energy. I think you're keeping quiet, though. I think you're just keeping to yourself. Keeping quiet, like with the Moon card. You're just working on yourself. Working on your independence. I don't think you were really worried about what was happening. You were worried about your healing and your completion. And stepping into your Queen of Cups energy. Um, and then I think your healing has just attracted abundance into your life. You are someone's manifestation. You are someone's wish fulfillment. Same damn thing. I mean, 
And here you are, Capricorns, at the bottom of the deck. Just clarification, baby, that they want you. Someone has been slow and steady to come towards you. And someone may come in with either cl quick, clear communication for you. And we have someone, again, someone's going to communicate. So, okay, this is what I'm getting. Someone was slow to come in and, okay, someone's been slow to come in and make contact and the other person has been, it, it, I don't know how to say it. They're moving faster. And this Knight of Wands energy is both of these people are taking action to do what, Capricorn? To tell you that they have a huge King of Cups offer for you and they are in love. This is so crazy. What do we have here? Six of Cups again. Another clarification. You might know both of these people from your past. I don't know. But again, this is like thinking of what happened in the past. And I don't know. Either missing something maybe or... Thinking of what they've learned. And are you ready for this? You're never going to believe it, guys. Never. We have the Nine of Cups. Okay. Again. Is that the Nine of Cups? Yes, it is. Twice. King of Swords. Twice. Knight of Wands. Twice. We have here the Ten of Pentacles. Do we have the Ten of Pentacles at all? We do not. But we do have all... We do have the Nine of Pentacles, and we do have all the other Pentacles. So, I think that it's like, who's got a bigger offer? <laughs> Just kidding. Like, Capricorn, I don't know what to think besides you're your own person, and you're independent. You got your own back. You are your own Ten of Pentacles. So, no matter what these people are coming in with an offer, they're coming in with, with very stable offers. You're kind of in the middle of their offers. They kind of have more money than you, Cap, but you still got your own back. They got... This page and this ace. And then you have this ten. And then that person has a page and an ace. <laughs> it's too funny. And Capricorns, you're in your own energy. You're in the nine of pentacles. And I think that if you just keep working hard at whatever your goal is right now. Things are going to work. Are you ready? Let's keep going. This, is, <laughs> this could never happen again in my life. Look at the lover's card there. What is this? Is that the four or the five? That is the four of wands. Dang, we're done after that because that is the home life. That means someone's making a final decision. We have the deception card again to where it's like misinterpretations from both ends. I think you think that both of these people may just be coming in with fake offers. Maybe you have trust issues, Capricorn. I'm, I'm not sure. Again, there's the lover's card. I could put every card on each side except for this one. This one's someone coming in that's going to offer... I don't know. I kind of feel like this is your wish, Cap. In all of these cards, I'd say that you are going to get a wish fulfillment. And I'm not going to play no games. If someone got the Magician card and the Nine of Cups... Yeah... They're both getting the Nine of Cups and you're get, actually going to get this Magician card, Capricorn. That's your energy and you've been manifesting a home life. That's why you're so stable and independent right now. You're focused on goals. You're focused on finance. I think, Capricorn, you've had a very rough... I said it. You had a tough time with past relationships. And if these are possible past people and past energies, you have trust issues right here. Ten of Swords, though... The bad things in your life, Capricorn, whether that be like limiting beliefs or thinking that everyone here is just, this, this, that this is hilarious and that no one has a real offer, that this is just so, some joke at this point is too funny. And it's the end of a very tough situation for you though, Capricorns. You had a completion, so that definitely means, and then you've ha you're in a magician energy. It's like you have the skill now to overcome mental conflict and putting up with, le with less than you deserve when it comes to love. We have the King of Wands coming out again. We have the Five here. Five of Pentacles, huh? 
Oh my, there's the answer, Capricorn. You're going to be leaving somebody out in the cold. And that's what, that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> I can't even believe this, but I am going to, to I'm pausing this real quick because I don't want to like keep wasting time while I do this, but I'm going to put all the cards that are all the same on, on each side so we can see this. This is something. This took so long. I am so lucky that I was not on camera for it. So let's talk. King and king of wands energy. Okay. King and king of swords energy. Lover's card. Lover's card. Knight of wands. Knight of wands. Okay. Knight of swords. Moon card. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Seven of Swords, Two of Wands. Seven of Swords, Two of Wands. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Now this is where, oh no, it's the same. Six of Pentacles. Six of Cups. This person now, this is where I got the different energy, okay? They're just both the knight in this, okay? And I didn't get, like, a different energy. Like, he didn't drop down from king size. This is just quick movement, okay? He's going to be fast now. And this person who's been the fire sign, possible Aries or something, Aries, Taurus kind of go together, has been slow and steady. They're slower at making a movement. Are you ready for this? I believe that this moon card was not meant for you, Capricorns, because I think that it was seriously meant for both of them, both of the secrets here to come unknown. 41, 41. Oh my goodness. So this is going to come out. And the reason that I told you in the beginning was it's going to be so shocking is because he's coming in a little bit fast and backwards. They come in so truthful, so hot that you don't even know how to take it. You don't even know how to answer it. You're like speechless, jaw dropped, you know, um, starstruck. And then they make their offers that are big. And then I'm not sure if they like kind of slow it down or how this works. Okay. It's just, but you, no matter what, you are everyone's wish fulfillment. And this person waits a while, like they are slow and steady to maybe win the race. And they don't let their secret known until they're ready to make the movement towards you, Capricorns. This person also is, this is what this means. Okay. This is what this means in this. Okay. There is no six of swords over here. There is over here, but there's the cherry card here. This means the same thing. Movement. Progress. Now let's look at your bomb ass energy, Capricorns. You are so balanced out and so healed right now and grounded, 42, 42, that you've been in your Nine of Pentacles independent energy. You are in a water energy, a high priestess energy, and a queen of swords energy. You are very strong and balanced out. You are very, how do I want to say it? You will say things and speak them with love, but you will trust your intuition from now on. Again, it's like double clarification. Are you ready for this? Okay. Queen queen okay guidance okay the hierophant card is the same as the high priestess basically it's trusting both wisdom and guidance and your intuition here you are literally right there remember when i said that when you're in this independent and all these people come forward with these insane feelings of love and contact towards you capricorn and these offers you're gonna be in a really shocked moment there and here you are, my beautiful Capricorns, Queen of Pentacles, Queen or King, however that resonates. You have had a double completion. I believe you have healed yourself to a point of stability and grounding. And I also believe you've healed yourself from past trauma and letting things go. Like uh, letting things go that no longer serve your highest good. So it is, you are so healed, you know that you're stepping into the end of a very, very, very tough cycle because you have the wisdom and completion has is here twice. You don't have to worry about being stuck in anxiety anymore, Capricorns. And then are you ready for what you have wished for and what you have manifested? Okay, everyone else has their wish fulfillment and they have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups, all right? You have been manifesting for yourself and your life because you're an independent goat. You want that. You want long-term stability and a home or a long-term 
relationship that's going to bring you peace and love and it's going to be secure stable in everything you've ever wanted i have no energy left capricorns i'm going to read what we have on the tray and i'm done i'm more than done so let me pick up a few and we'll see. Look at that. It has growth there. Look at this shit. When I pick up this much, that word growth, what is right there? Grow. Capricorn, I think both of these people, again, it is like the same energy <laughs> again. Uh, how are these guys or girls mirroring this energy like this? I'm leaving it. Okay. <clears throat> Your guides, Capricorn, are saying that I think you need to forgive yourself for the things you put up with in the past with that ten of swords energy forgive yourself for putting up with less than you ever deserved because you never deserved that see this you're you're now giving all yourself all that queen of cups energy self-love you are pouring into yourself so much you're so attractive right now see you have forgiven yourself capricorn or you are in the process of healing right here you're in this higher self this development this growth you're making more abundant decisions for yourself capricorn yes that make you feel good that make you feel healed that make you glow look what is next man pleasure either you're going to attract okay a possible love offer here and it's going to be super pleasurable or you're just seeking more things that bring you pleasure maybe in your community or with a person from your community however that resonates for you um I'm going to put that one to the side. Someone I think maybe in your community. I'm not sure how this resonates, but that community card confused me because it switched up gears here. I think someone in your community may surprise you. I'm not sure if one of these people live in your community or live in your town. Someone has a present or surprise for you, Capricorns. And we have connection. And I believe that someone wants to come in with a connection offer here. And Capricorn, you're focused on fucking goals, like I said. Your teacher guides are like, you know what? Keep pushing. Keep learning. Keep going with your independent bad self. Keep going. I'm putting that over there with you. You are all about them goals. Trying to be financially stable. See? You're trying to be so successful with your goals. This is amazing. And we have the number four again. Are you ready for this? This is beautiful. The number four is support. And the number four is the fourth house. The four of wands. Again. You want a, a safe, private, what feels like home place. You want to feel supported. You want to feel safe. You want to feel loved in your home. You, you want something that's better, whether that means a relationship with someone in a home or you're ready to have a, a move, have a new home, a new energy in a new home. All I know is whatever is next for you, Capricorns, is going to bring you so much celebration from your joy guides. You are going to just be dancing and having the time of your life. And maybe you will really, maybe you really did manifest one of these people or you just manifested a lot of healing and independence and maybe you're choosing seriously nobody. But this is a love reading and is there going to be contact is the thing. It says, you know, what I wrote down is who's got their eye on you and it is an air sign and a fire sign. And it says, will there be contact? Yeah, there will. There's movement and progress. Um, and then we're going to interpret the hermit crab and the porcupine. Now I'm going to say, since I got two of these today, okay, two of these, I'm put, I'm setting it down. Hermit crab is seriously going over the, the this, uh, this king. And then porcupine is going to go over this, uh, this other king of wands, the fire energy. And then we're going to interpret right now. Okay. This is so crazy. So we're going to see here and Capricorns, you are chameleon spirit. So act as if, act as if. Look, we have number 14, and we did get that freaking, what is it, 41 something? 41, 14. Capricorns, act as if you already have it all. That you've already manifested all of this. All these goals are coming true. That you already have this Ten of Pentacles. That you're so healed. Act as if, man. Act as if you're already rich beyond belief. Act as if you already have it all, my loves. All right, so porcupine... And what's the other one? Hermit crab. We're going to read hermit crab first because it's first. 
It means necessary withdrawal, introspection, exploration of the inner landscape. And it says growth. It says the tiny hermit crab scuttles along the ocean floor ready to strike out and explore the surrounding environment. So that is how you would put your hands as a shadow puppet to make in the flashlight to put the hermit crab on the wall. Beautiful cards. Um, okay, it says to strike out and explore the surrounding environment despite its name. This crustacean isn't much of a hermit. That said, thanks to a trusty seashell home, this busybody knows when it's time to retreat inside. When the energy of the hermit crab has arrived in a reading, a certain withdrawal from the outside world is imperative. This card is a call to explore our inner landscape and search for answers. Rather than to search for them in an outside source, when we are growing, we often reach a milestone in our journey that requires us to take a step back, pose questions to ourselves, and if we rely too heavily on opinions of others or because these influences can drown out our own inner voice. To remain true to ourselves, a certain amount of alone time is required to let the voice have room to speak up. All I have to say is this is clarifying the moon card. <sighs> For those of us who commit to the spiritual journey in a serious way, the energy of this card probably feels familiar. As much as we can learn from others, the spiritual path is ultimately one we walk alone. So basically, you know, and it says carve out time for yourself and see what wisdom rises to the surface. You might surprise yourself. So cross watchers, if you are a Gemini Libra Aquarius, that is your message for your animal spirit. So like, I think it's honestly given this freaking king of swords advice. Like, don't just jump into stuff. Meditate, contemplate. <laughs> And the next one is, I gotta find the number, hold on. Porcupine's number 36. It means astral wisdom. So, this king of wands, the porcupine with its body covered in innumerable sharp quills is a curious creature. Many indigenous people re refer or revere this traveling spike ball as a personification of ancestral wisdom, with each quill representing a different person and a different lesson of a piece of knowledge to be shared. For example, the porcupine being able to travel between the physical and the spiritual realm. If you are deeply rooted in the culture of your family and ancestors, this card is a signal to dive, dive deeper into your relationship with them. Consider engaging in activities relevant to your culture or cultures, such as cooking food, speaking their language, um, making an altar together to your loved ones on the other side. Um, and then it says to ask them to share their wisdom with you. Now, remember, this is about your King of Wands energy. So, cross watcher, if you're a fire sign, this is your message. And it says, if you're someone who isn't in touch with your roots, for whatever reason, that's okay. Sometimes delving into the diving, maybe diving into the subject of family can be painful, a painful one, especially if generations of those who came before us are people whose quali qualities or values don't align with who we are. If you are one of those people, take a moment to contemplate the bigger picture of your ancestors that we all spring from. The first humans who walked this earthly plane from which we all share a common root. Their wisdom is lying dormant inside you, um, waiting for an invitation to speak up. And it says to make room. I feel like both of these people have the same meaning, just different freaking cards. They both have to seriously think about what they've learned. They both have to think about it and 
and choose what to do. Like, meditate, contemplate, go. <laughs> Even if it's hermit crab or it's porcupine. Pretty card. So those are the hands in front of the flashlights make that puppet. The shadow puppets. The Pluto Oracle deck. All right, guys. And then Capricorns, my babes. Act as if you got it all and you already freaking are grateful, thankful for no matter how little, how big of anything you got is. Even if you are right now alone, we are truly are never alone. Um, I want to pull one for us, guys. I kind of am leaning toward, like, both of them. Let's just do Capricorns, okay? Two separate Capricorns can have two different messages. So we have the hawk and the lion. Let's do this, huh? The lion, where are you? So the hawk is number seven, great number. We'll read the hawk first for a Capricorn that this resonates with. Your hawk means intelligence, independence, adaptability, and clarity. Like, are you serious? Are you serious, baby? This is literally like some queen of freaking swords. Otherwise, it is seriously queen of pentacles. No matter. Okay. The intelligence part of this freaking hawk is the intelligence that comes from the queen of swords mind. Okay. She has clarity. The independence is coming from this, from literally... This queen of pentacles, which is you, my Capricorns, king or queen. And because you're independent and adaptable to anything that happens in your life. Even if you end up fucking alone. This is amazing. It means hawks inhabit every single continent except Antarctica. Because of the vast diversity found in the environments they inhabit. Hawks are incredibly adaptable creatures. Thanks to their prevalence. Almost every ancient culture has lore surrounding this bird of prey. Many put hawks in the same category as ravens, owls, and other creatures known for their sharp intelligence. Scientists do as well. To see the hawk in your reading is to call to check in on your current state. Are you seeing things clearly? There is likely a situation at hand that is asking for your certain amount of flexibility on your part. But you may feel resistant to bending. Be careful that your stubbornness hasn't clouded your vision to your own detriment. This moment calls for some self-awareness and brutal honesty about the role you're playing in your own life. And whether you are self-sabotaging. Wow, Capricorns. Literally, the hawk is like telling you guys that if you are against love and you're just trying to be super independent... One day you're going to be like, oh my goodness, what was I thinking that I could do it all by myself? So I know that you're independent now, but one day maybe you will need one. And our last message to close this out is lion. What page is the lion on? 72. 72. The lion means, so for whatever Capricorn this resonates with in our reading, this is the beautiful card. It is so pretty. It means the divine masculine, pride, and the father. Often referred to as the king of the animal kingdom, the lion embodies the energy of the divine masculine within us. The presence of this card may also point to a relationship. Whether with a biological father or a father figure, and it says... As with the bear card... So that doesn't even... That's irrelevant. It says, however... When we approach the archetype of the father through the lens of the divine, we are given the opportunity to defend what this masculine energy needs to represent to us to feel empowering. When we speak to the divine masculine and feminine through the lens of spirituality, we aren't speaking about gender, but rather than two sides of nature that exists in all things. These energies are one way to think about the two halves that make us whole, and they exist on a spectrum in varying degrees. Masculine energy is often thought of as the active principle, basically the side of us that is ambitious, driven, and ready to make moves. Feminine is the passive principle, meaning open, receptive, and observing. 
The lion asks us about our relationship to our own masculine energy, our own strength. What does this energy mean to you? What feelings arise when you read these words? Take pride in this part of you and nurture it well. I believe that you should never be maybe too masculine. Always have the balance. But still, make sure you always have that lion strength. I don't know. Persevere. Keep going. Don't have too much pride, though. Don't be too masculine where you have, don't have the balance where the femininity will come in. The love. So you can love and be strong. Like um, like a father figure type thing. All right. I'm closing it out there, Capricorns. I send you my love and light. Um, yeah, that 1441 is like the only number that I think I can even remember getting because everyone got the same cards, vice versa here over here. But Capricorns, you do have 1010. But all right. Peace and love. Later.